Hi guys, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sanya. I am your senior support specialist here to take you through the client dispute manager software for today. So I do hope you are all having a good day. We're gonna jump into our training for today. So let's go ahead and do that. So of course, you know our regular tradition, go ahead and post it in the chat and tell me how your day has been so far. And if you want to, you could go ahead and unmute. Of course, we're gonna talk about the disputing process. So we're gonna jump right into it while I go ahead and share my screen. All right, tell me once you are seeing my screen and then we can jump into training for today. Let me get my highlighter as well. And of course, yesterday we talked about the onboarding process, what that should look like. And I hope you guys have that part all set up. Now, for the follow-up, good, Linda, good, awesome. So for the follow-up, what you basically wanna do after you have sent out your uh, contract and they have gone through the process, you're gonna do your credit analysis, which of course, that is where you're gonna set up your interview for you to go over all of the negative items that's on their credit report. And then of course you wanna go on to disputing. So disputing is what we're gonna to cover today. Hope you do have some questions for me. We're not gonna have a long session today, but I do hope you have some questions so we can go through and cover those questions, okay? Okay, perfect. Now, of course, when you come into the software, this is gonna be the first thing that you see. This is our home slash dashboard screen. Here you have our customer's overview, our dispute process overview, our business growth. And of course, whenever you see any updates here, you know that we're trying to let you know about some kind of new features, some updates, or just general information that you need to be checking on. So of course, this is gonna be in your software. You will get it in your emails. It's also posted on the Facebook group. So definitely, look out for those updates as they come, okay? All right, perfect. So we are moving on to the dispute screen. Let's say we did our credit analysis. We have talked to our clients in our consultation. We have decided, okay, this is what we're gonna do. So we're moving on to step three, which is basically to start the disputing process. What you basically wanna do before you start disputing is basically to plan your plan of action, right? So what is it that I'm gonna do for this particular client? Am I gonna dispute only with the credit bureau or the creditors or the collectors? Do I see any accounts where I could possibly do a pay for deletion? Is it a case that I need to go ahead and submit this over to a lawyer? You need to analyze all of the information that you have. Remember your credit analysis and your analyzer is basically gonna break that down for you, but you definitely wanna go over, make some notes. And then what I always encourage that you do is in your activity log, you go ahead and put that information in there so that you can say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And you can let your customers know that this is what is gonna happen here on out, right? So of course, we want you to be detailed as possible. We want you to make sure that you're keeping a track of everything that you have or what you're about to do for your customers, just in case you need to go back to it. All of the information would have already been in here because you would have added that in here, right? So analyze the information, make your notes. It might be that your employees are gonna do this part. So you need to tell them that they need to review this info or the outsourcers, they're gonna be the ones that's gonna go through the client's information. Let them go ahead and make notes just in the event that you need to call your customers or your customers called you and you are shuffling to find out any information, it would have already been in the software. So it's important that you go ahead to make notes, especially here, because you wanna be able to refer to the notes that's there. So whenever you need to, you just go in and check it, okay? Now, let's say we have gotten that out of the way. We have decided, okay, for these accounts, this is what I'm working with. What you wanna do is you want to review your analyzers. Your analyzers 
once you have ran your report, you've done your credit analysis and analyzer, it also shows up in your dispute manager screen. So whether you go to the credit broker, creditor collector response section, you should be able to see your analyzer here just to review the information that you have. Once you go there, it will basically give you reasons of what you could use for those particular accounts that's reporting inaccurate. Now, I'd like to tell you to look on the top left hand, right hand side rather, you wanna look to see who it is that you're gonna dispute with, right? So if it's a credit bro, you can say, okay, I'm disputing with Equifax and TransUnion and Experion here, or it could be that I'm just seeing one here. You need to just look at that information that is presented to you, what the account type says. If there is a balance, go ahead and look at that as well. And then from there, you're using the law to help you when it comes to disputing. You're also using your analyzers. You're using what the clients have told you so you could go ahead and dispute effectively for your client. So of course, add all of your accounts in your add item screen. So of course we would have come to the add item first. Well, of course it's gonna be the credit score first. Then we go to the add item screen. From here, we wanna put our accounts in dispute. Once we do put our accounts in dispute, we are gonna decide, okay, it's supposed to be with the creditors or the collectors or whomever it is, right? Now, you would put your round here. Let's say we're going with the creditors. We're di disputing directly with the creditors. We wanna look at the information that is presented to us. It could be that we're asking for some kind of leniency. Um, so we're gonna use a goodwill letter or we're trying to remove inquiries. Whatever it is, you would have uh, gone into the preferred screen just so you can select a letter that would have been there to help you when it comes to disputing. So you need to make sure that you know the different types of letters that's there. So whenever you're in a particular uh, situation when it comes to your client's account, you could say, okay, I remember that this letter is here. Let's see what we can do with this. Do we need to go ahead and tweak it? you would be able to do so from here, right? So you have the general letter, you have the campaign letter, this campaign letter for the creditor, this is just gonna give you some letters that you can use. Remember that you can preview your letters. You also have the option to use the dispute flow. So it's just one letter out of the three that you're using, adding a reason, and you're basically matching that to basically convey what you're trying to say to your um, to the creditor or the collector or the credit bureau, right? So once you have all of that information, you would go ahead, send those letters out because you've selected all of your letters. You send it to print. If you're using letter stream, of course, you have that option. Or if you're doing regular mail, you want to go ahead and do that mail it out 30 to 40 days time, you'd come underneath the tracking section and then you'd basically do your follow-up, right? But before we go there, always remember that you can look at your dispute reason tracker when you're about to move on to your next round. You should make sure that you are analyzing the information from those updates that you've gotten from your, your customers. So your customers should have sent you replies from those documents that they might have gotten from the credit bureau, creditor or collector, they'll upload that into the system so you can go ahead to analyze the information. And what I like to tell you as well is to log into the credit monitoring, look at the information that's there. Also look at the summary section where it would tell you, okay, any accounts that might've been re-added or any inquiries, new accounts that's showing, you wanna go ahead and check that so you can inform your clients after you have done your follow-up process, uh, which we're gonna talk about in a little while. Now, let me just pause right here. Um, do I have any questions so far? Any questions? All good? All right, so I think we're all good. Okay, remember if you have a question, just post it in the chat. If you're not able to unmute, um, and I will look at that later on, okay? Okay, awesome, awesome. So I think we're on the right track. Um, you don't have any questions. So basically you wanna make sure that you're using the right letter to be effective when you're disputing. You wanna go ahead and check 
all of the information that you have. Remember, you can add multiple letters while you're doing your dispute. So it could be that you have different reasons, of course, different letters, different account types. You can add it on a letter that's supposed to go, let's say for the credit bureau, for example, to go to, um, let's say Equifax, these are all of the accounts that would have been listed on one letter that's going to Equifax. Some people, what they'll do is they'll select the option up here and just do one letter at a time. So one account per letter at a time, right? You can do that or you can group your accounts together. So you would of course uncheck the box here so that you're not grouping, well, but, well, of course you're grouping them together but you're not doing it one by one, right? Because of course that's more paper, that's more work. Um, this does make it a little bit easier but you do have persons who prefer to just do one account per letter um, so it's up to you, you have to decide, but it's always easier to go ahead and uncheck this box here so that you can group your letters together, whether you have late payments, collections on it, going to Equifax and another set going to TransUnion, you just wanna make sure that you have all of the information. Try not to add the same reason for all of the accounts. So let's say you have 50 accounts um, that you're going to send out for dispute, all of them should not have the same reason, all right? We don't want to be hit with a frivolous dispute, so we have to be careful. I would prefer if you go ahead, if you can, just go through, look at the analyzer, and basically just pinpoint why am I actually disputing this particular account? I'm disputing this particular account because the open date is incorrect. The balance is incorrect. Uh, I don't recall this furniture. Um, so of course you're looking for everything that you could have highlighted to say, okay, this is a valid reason why I'm coming to you for you to go ahead and investigate this info, all right? So of course you need to make sure that you go ahead, review the information, and you add your accounts once you have, you send it to print. Once you send your accounts to print, what you wanna do is you wanna go into the bulk print screen here, and you basically wanna select your letters so that you can send it out. Now, bear in mind underneath here, you can send your documents uh, with the letters, right? Some people they prefer, or they might have been asked by the bureau to go ahead and send their proof of identification. So of course, you have the option of uploading your documents for the clients underneath here and you can send it out, whether it's going to letter stream or it's going out regularly, you're gonna go to the post office, you can attach your documents. Once you have gotten that, let's say you did get it in the onboarding process, you could, or maybe they might have sent you via email what you wanna do is you wanna come into the client's profile underneath the customer screen and you wanna upload that so that you can uh, work on that. But if you're in the bulk print screen and you do have the documents, you can of course upload from there as well. But let's say they were there, um, they weren't there. And before you started the disputing, you wanna go ahead and upload those documents. You need to make sure that you do it from here but remember that if they go through the client auto sign up, you wouldn't have to come here to do that. Or if you have given them access to their clients portal, they can come in and they can upload their documents. So of course, remember that you need to tell them that it's important just in the event that you need to send out your letters with those proof of identification, automatically you would have had it on hand so that when you come into your bulk print screen, you would have already had that added on there, right? So you're just gonna select to say, okay, I want all of these IDs to be on these particular letters that I'm about to send out, right? So of course, once you have that, what you wanna do is you wanna print it out or if you're using letter stream, it's gonna look a little bit different. You would basically send that out for letter stream. And once you do that, then you should be good. 30 to 40 days time, we wanna look for this alert here at the top so we can follow up on our clients so that we can continue the process, move on to the next round, and then just hopefully, well, not hopefully, we're gonna cancel, no, not cancel, but we're gonna complete their, um, their profiles, right? So of course, you go in, you check to see what clients you might have 
that you need to work on. Don't forget though, when you're in this particular screen, don't, don't just say you're gonna print it out and then you still leave it in the current section. You have to move it to archive, right? So if I'm gonna select my letters, let me just show you. Let's say I'm selecting my letters to print. What I want you to remember is you wanna move it to archive because of course, we are telling the software, we're also informing our clients that we have gone ahead to send out these letters for disputing. So we would basically go ahead and send that out to the customer. Then of course, not to the customers, but to the relevant agencies and email once I hit yes, is gonna go to the customer and it's also gonna go the accounts that I have printed out is gonna go into the archive screen so I can tell my customers and also track to say, okay, in the next 30 days, I'm getting updates there. So I can go ahead and work on my client's file. I can continue to work on my client's file. So what I would do, I would go underneath tracking and 30, these are, this is 30 days after, 30, 40 days after, or it could be a little bit longer. What you would do is you would come in here and you would pull in the new report from underneath here. You're basically matching what you have sent out previously to the new account, right? So once you have done that, what you wanna do is you wanna select the box. Let's say we did get some deletions or we probably got some updates. You want to go ahead to click update deleted account so that it, it moves to the results section and you can send that result to your customer. Remember what I said, you want to move on to do your next round. So of course, it could be that your next round would have been round two and round two could have been that they are hitting it as a frivolous dispute. So I could have chosen a letter or a respond letter to say that, um, how can you verify that this is a frivolous dispute, basically, right? So of course you have different types of uh, letters that you can send. You might not have to use the respond here, but you could have gone to the credit bureau. Let's say you did start with a credit bureau and you wanted to continue with the sequence of what you started with. And of course you have that option to go to the next round. It could also mean that, okay, you got the deletions, for all three bureaus. So of course you wouldn't be touching those because that would have been updated. The clients would have been notified as well that you have gotten some updates. They would log into their portals and they could see that. But what I want you to do after you have sent out your round, your next round, what I want you to do is to log into your credit monitoring and then you're gonna follow up with your clients to do your nurturing calls, right? So from here, you can go back to the customer screen, find your customer, and you could have clicked this little icon here to say, okay, these are the scores that we started with. This is where we are at now. So if these are what we started with. This is where we are at now. This is a score improvement. You can go ahead and check it in your client uh, portal. You have, if you have any remaining accounts, you want to tell them as well. You want to give them any accounts that is sent out when it's due by. If there's any results, you want to do that. So instead of having to go to the dispute manager, find the information from the customer screen, you can quickly pull that up and give them the information. And of course, by then, in your activity log, I would want for you to, of course, go through and do another plan of action for the next round that's supposed to come. You're going to talk to the client. If they have any concerns, if they have any questions, they're going to tell you. And of course, you're going to relay all of the information. And you're going to put a note in your activity log to say that I have talked to this client today. They have said this. They have asked this question. Or probably I didn't get this customer today. We'll do a follow-up, set your reminders if you need to, but this is basically what you would do for your customers, right? So once you get into the hang of it, it really becomes easy. You wanna make sure that you look out for your follow-up due alerts. It's gonna be here at the top, and it's also gonna be here where it has that red highlight to say it's a follow-up that you need to do for this particular customer. Now. How do we go ahead to get that read off, right? Let's say we have um, done, we have sent out our updates to the client. We have printed out another set of disputes 
for a, for customers, we wanna go back to the tracking section and we wanna tell the software that we have responded. So we're gonna check the box. Let's say, of course, these were already uh, highlighted as deleted. We would come here underneath the tracking section and hit the respond button to tell the software that we have responded so that it goes into archive here. And then the new letters that we have sent out would have been shown on the current screen, right? So of course, you wanna follow up this process or you wanna do this process so that you know what you need to do, uh, when you need to do another set, you know when you have sent out your disputes, when it's due by. And of course, if you need to track that information, they can log into their portals. Of course, I still want you to touch base with them at least once so that you can tell them the scores and all of the information. If they need to go in just to verify what you have told them, they can go into their tracking section in the client's portal or the bureau. They can look at that information from there. Remember, if they have access to their a mobile app, then of course, it's gonna be easy access for them to log in and just check that information. So you wanna make sure that you update the information correctly underneath the tracking results section. So it reflects not only in their client's portal, but the overview screen and also on your dashboard screens, okay? So of course, any updates that I have done automatically, that's gonna show in my section here. And then I want to continue the process until I complete their profiles, their files, right? Um, let me see, do I have any questions so far? All good? Okay, perfect, 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 we're all good. Okay, so basically once you have done that, you're gonna do that for the continuation of your client's file. Remember that you can do multiple clients at a time. So let's say you have 10 clients. Today is the day that you're going to do the disputes for all of those clients. What you can do is just to select your clients. Let's say we are underneath the credit bureau screen. We did this client a while ago. We sent it to print. We're going to move on to the next client. We go to the next one and the next one. So you can make it go a little bit faster if you do this little pace, right? So... Once you get the hang of it, it should be easy for you to maneuver. I always tell you to go ahead, look at all of the letters. Remember, we want to be efficient. We also want to be um, effective as well with the disputes that we're sending out. So what I always encourage you to do is if you need to tweak your letters, if you have to, so that whenever you are choosing a particular letter for a particular account, you're being as specific as possible, putting your reason, highlighting all of the information so that they have to go ahead and investigate it. Once they do that, you will see the results that you need, okay? Um, okay, so I'm just reading this question here. You can log into the credit monitoring if you need to, right? Um, because of course, you can see the updates and the comments that's on the credit report, but it's always best if they could forward it to you. Um, yeah, so if you can, just let them know the importance of them sending over that to you so you can analyze the information and you can go ahead to do the next round, right? I know sometimes they'll, they'll take forever to send you the updates, but with the fact that you have the app, if they can just take a picture of their phone and send that over to you, that would just save a lot of time, right? But yeah, you can definitely log into the credit monitoring to check to see what's there, and then you can move on to the next round, provided that they have covered the payment for you to continue the processing, all right? Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, let me see, do I have any more questions? Are we all good? So we have six, no, four, three more minutes. Uh, before I let you guys go, let me see. Oh, good. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, don't forget, send me your email address and I will send you the replay for today. And of course, I want you guys to join me tomorrow and we'll just cover the automations and probably any other questions that you might have. All right. Okay. All good. All good. 
Yes, definitely. So guys, if you don't have any more questions, that is basically gonna wrap up our session for today. Remember to analyze your information before you start the process. Think about your plan of action. Once you do think of your plan of action, put it in the software so that you can relay that information. If it's a paper deletion, well, not a paper deletion, but if you're doing a pay for deletion for accounts that you might have analyzed and you saw that the, the balance is something that they could have paid off, or you realize that you have inquiries that the client never authorized, you wanna go ahead and analyze the information what I want you to, to do as well is to, this is just a summary of making sure that you customize your reasons as much as possible to your letters. You're basically matching your reason and your letter to that particular account that you have to get the best response. You're gonna do the follow-up after you send it out 30 to 40 days time. You wanna go underneath tracking so that you can update the information, send out another round, send out the updates as well, check the credit monitoring, and basically that's it, right? So these, these are just some steps that you wanna do. Remember, look at your dispute reason tracker. So at least if you do check that, what you would know is that, okay, this is what I used for the reasons previously. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what, these are the accounts that I might have sent out before. This is what I need to do. So look at all of the information that you have. Remember, you have your dispute guide to help you. You have your analyzer. If the client did the smart interviewer, you should be able to check that. Or if they have or you have added in any notes, you can go to your activity log. But remember that the law is what's going to help you look at your, your dispute cheat sheet. Look at the different ways of how you can dispute multiple accounts and remember the training video. And if you get stuck, what I want you to remember to do, go into the Facebook group so you can get different feedbacks because of course, different account types, you're gonna get different responses. You might not know what to do and this would definitely help you when it comes to disputing, okay? All right, perfect. Yes, I will definitely send you those replays. Yes, GoDaddy is a good option if you're adding in, um, if you're setting up your website. Yeah, GoDaddy for you to get the domain name and the hosting and the SSL, that's a good option. Other persons use different providers. That's totally fine. Um, you just need to review. They might give you a package. If you don't want the package, let's say you just wanna start with the domain name, the hosting first, and then you get the SSL and the other things, because of course they'll provide you with a full package of let's say the company email and things like that, which of course it might look good, but you're not ready just yet for it. You just have to decide what you want, all right? But GoDaddy is a good provider for you to get so you could set up the website. All right. All right, Linda, let me know if that is good. Do you have any question on mute, as I said, quickly before I let you guys go? Okay, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. All right, all right, all right. So that is going to wrap up our session today. Real, uh, today. Remember I said I was going to do it real quick. So join me tomorrow and we're going to cover another session. Send me your email address quickly before I let you guys go and I will send you the replays for today, all right? All right, go ahead. Yes, yes, please, you can. So if you want to send the information in there, that's fine. Okay, you're most welcome, Donna. Hope you're having a good day. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. You do have a good one. Darlena, I hope, I'm gonna send you the replay, okay? No worries. Okay, perfect, perfect. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. You do have a good, good one today and I'll see you tomorrow. You take care, bye-bye.